Greetings, everyone. My name is Nancy Doherty. Karen Jensko Geshko and I first met when we were both working for the West Virginia Commission on the Arts in the 1990s. Karen moved to West Virginia to become the Community Arts Coordinator, and I worked in arts education. What I came to discover about working in any role in state arts agencies is that the staff are seed planters. By providing funding, technical assistance, advice, and just by showing up, we help communities grow and thrive in the arts. Karen is a master at cultivating relationships, understanding policy and bureaucratic minutia, and she's able to translate that into action with significant impact. In West Virginia, Karen was instrumental in founding the Rural Arts Initiative, the Peer Assistance Network, and the first statewide arts assembly. Many communities and organizations that she touched, such as the Morgan Arts Council in Berkeley Springs, the Opera House in Marlinton, and the Randolph County Arts Council in Elkins are still thriving. Through her efforts, Karen helped plant good seed in rich soil that she tended over her eight years in West Virginia. Karen's true superpower, as most of you probably know, is her deep friendship. She's a lifelong friend, a gifted and generous person, and it is a great pleasure to participate in honoring her work. Congratulations, Karen. I have just got to finish these lyrics for Karen. here. Didn't expect you so soon. Well, let me just get into it then. Karen and I met each other when we were first starting our careers as community development coordinators, and we bonded over shared experiences, or maybe I should say shared inexperience. Lots of phone calls back and forth where we talked about our future and people that we admired, and our personal lives and loves. I remember an awful lot of commiseration about why our romantic lives were just not getting any traction. I bumped into this photo recently. Perhaps it explains a little of our lack of magnetism. But we kept the friendship going um, over the annual CDC Taste of the States events, over indulging with way too many Tennessee goo goo clusters and way too much, way too sweet Texas wine. I'm looking at you, Betty Switzer. And that's where we picked up our third musketeer, Lynn Maupin. She's third from the right. And just like any really great friendship, it never matters the distance or the number of years. When we get the chance to reconnect, we pick up right where we left off. So here's the thing about Karen. She is the embodiment of the phrase, good things come in small packages. And that's a really apt metaphor for her life as well. Because Karen has done good small things every day. And days become weeks, become years, become decades. And now, here we are Karen, and you can look back in your wake and feel the love and affection coming at you from all the people who were touched from just the way you chose to live your life. And there it is. Congratulations, Karen. I'm crazy about you. Miss you tons. I am thrilled to hear the news that Karen is receiving this honor, and it is so well-deserved. 
She and I first met in 1989 at the AFTA convention in Atlanta. She was a CDC in West Virginia, and I was at the Missouri Arts Council. I left my job in 1997, and at that time we were chair and vice chair of the CDCs. We have continued to stay in touch over the years. She is an extraordinary person and is so much fun. I know that her generous spirit, her creativity, kindness, and empathy have played a huge part in her accomplishments. She is a dear friend, and I know she is to many others. I'm so glad that she is receiving the Guard Foundation Leadership Award. Rambling round your city, rambling round your town. Karen rambles for the arts each day through all of Wisconsin, boys. Through all of Wisconsin. Now that's a Woody Guthrie tune about what you, Karen, just like Robert Gard uh, before you through your lives and through your careers have, have done, and I thank you for it. And uh, Wisconsin, I'm sure, thanks you for it, and America should thank you for it. We've known each other for a long, long time, and uh, I've always been your fan, as you know. But uh, I was a fan even when you left us in Washington, D.C. Karen came in as a, a fellow and uh, did a fabulous job, and we all loved her and wanted her to stay, but she returned to Wisconsin. Uh, and I even wrote a song about that that I'm not going to do uh, called the I've Got the Wisconsin Winds, Karen Jensko Gesko Blues, another time. Uh, I want to congratulate Karen for what she has um, devoted her entire career to, and that is using the arts to change community and state and to reinforce uh, the words of uh, Robert Gard and uh, the lyrics of another Woody Guthrie song, and I'd like to end with that, but I think this is you, Karen. This land is your land, this land is my land, from Wisconsin City, and it's farmlands, the arts are everywhere, because of Karen. This land you have made for you and me, this land you have made you and me, you and me. Congratulations, Karen.